My name's Anthony. I'm uh, I'm a stonemason. It's Mike Dillon, iron worker. Doing it since I was 18. Structural steel. Everything's got a history. They Everything's say. got a history. And it's about work. It's, it's about working. It's about working. It's about work. It's about working. We want to prove that a man is not just a laborer. That a woman is not just a housewife. That there's more to that. So what's the deal? What are we doing? <laughs> We're doing a basic sit-down interview. Okay. Maybe we... You mean to sit down? Yeah. I know what's up with you. This is a high-tech uh, clapper there. It's late. It's like your name? Yeah. <laughs> Jason Shepard from Phoenix. Right. You can call me oh. Jason, yeah. Um, Not so a I'm Heather Herkenhoff. I'm in this central ticket agency. We sell tickets. Okay. Um, what is your name? Sarah. And where are you from? Montana. Cool. Yeah, let's okay. see the questions. All right. I'm the technical director, which means uh, basically uh, for their theater department, I'm in charge of making sure all the technical aspects come together, as well as teaching a few technical classes and occasionally doing a set design. Uh, I've worked at LMU. I started working here in fall of 97. It's not what you do. It's who's doing it. Sounds about right. I'm in the Central Ticket Agency. We sell tickets not only to plays and the four concerts on um, campus, but also to the um, likes of Disneyland, Magic Mountain, and we also do movies. All the fun stuff. Um, how long have you done this job? I started at LMU in the fall of 2005. Mm -hmm. I've been here 32 years, and I will be retiring in 212. All the fun stuff. I went uh, to school here from 93 to 97, and then started the job a few months after I graduated. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've always I've been happy doing it. Uh, when I went to, I did a lot of this kind of stuff in high school, a lot of tech direction type stuff, and then in college I did more stage management. I did a lot of like writing and directing, uh, and then when I graduated and got into this, I started kind of getting back into the backstage technical elements of, of theater. Yeah. It's a small world. It's a small world, isn't it? Yeah. Is this the job you always hoped to do? Teaching poetry, teaching creative writing. Um, I, you know, when I was much younger, I, I didn't actually imagine that I would end up being a teacher. Um, but uh, once I realized that that would be a really cool way to also be able to be a poet and um, that some of my favorite people were integrating that and that people actually were saying they wanted me to do it, yeah, this is kind of, you know, what I'm, what I'm really glad I'm doing. Cool. I knew a little bit of what it was going to be like just because uh, I had gone to school here for four years, so I knew the faculty and I knew many of the students that were still here and I... I worked here, you know, while I was going to school here, so I knew the spaces. So I had somewhat of an idea, but it was still a little bit of a different animal once you kind of just get thrown right into it. There was a lot of kind of figuring it out in the first couple of years and then getting a system established, you know, after that. Is it like um, what you thought it would be like? Um, in some ways, I mean, I had a lot of other uh, teaching that I ended up doing before this job. Mm -hmm. and so, you know... Each class has its own personality, um, and each situation has its own personality. But it, it pretty much is based on what I started getting into, um, especially with the full group workshop classes. Um, they're very much modeled on the workshops that I've been doing at places like Beyond Baroque and with David St. John and with all of these other circumstances, Vermont College. And so, so they. They're, they're the, the things that feel the most magical uh, in, in my job here. And, and I think maybe it's, it's the thing that feels most like breathing, you know? And I think it's maybe the place where I actually have the most to offer. These are the people of the world. I did a little bit of that after, after college and while I was working here. And I think it changed. I got into, like I said, more into directing and uh, playwriting when I was a student here. Um, and so I, I did that a little bit after college, but it was a big, 
a big commitment to be doing theater like backstage all day in the day job and then at night go somewhere and be directing a play and stage management it got to end up being a lot of a lot of being in the theater you know so it got easier just to kind of have that be the day job and then have you know other creative outlets for enjoyment outside of this but it was great it was perfect it was the perfect backup like yeah. day job you know there's anything else you would rather do what is it and why <laughs> I don't know. At this point, it's not about rather. Mm -hmm. It's more about in addition to. Cool. You know? Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I do do in addition to is I give a lot of poetry readings. Nice. And I write a lot of poetry, and I love doing this. Um, I've also done a lot of singing, and reading poetry is kind of like, you know. Um, I guess what I would love is a little bit more time mm -hmm. for my own work and um, maybe to travel more. Cool. Perfect, thank you. 32 years, starring in 212. That's the point. That's the point. We are America. Seeing this show? Yes, I will be seeing it many times. I'm sure working on it and building the set and through tech, I'll be... Now that the first show is done, I'll be in this one until closing. All right, well, thanks, Jason. That's it. Okay, good. Pleasure was all mine. What? I know. Okay, okay. But yeah, it's working. It's about working. Working hard, doing what you love. Working. But then you know, some people don't. Working. That's good. That's good. It's furry. Is there like a like a an off button or something? Did you did you? Do we still need this? Hello? Don't fuck with that shit. Oh, oh sorry. I'm sorry. Didn't know I wasn't supposed to touch anything. Is it? Are we still on? No. All right. Stone Mason signing out. I've always wanted to say that. You know that. How's it going? I dropped your class. Oh, you did?